Is it possible that deers are being taken over by some kind of zombie disease and possibly spreading it to humans? Or is this just the latest creepy pasta meant to scare us and make us think we could all become zombies? I've got the answer to that living dead question, plus answers on a couple other strange items that you guys are curious about. Like this video that claims to show a robot that can really do a backflip, a bizarre photo that wants us to believe there is a rare condition that will cause teeth to grow out of your toes, and this picture that claims this is a real apartment building that people actually live in. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. You know, we have seen a mountain of questions from you guys about zombies. And to respond to it, I did make that video called Are Zombies Real? to help you guys understand the truth about zombies. But this week we got something all new, and that is I've got hundreds of you guys writing in because you're either curious or scared about this thing called the zombie deer disease. A picture that has become attached to this story is this one, and it was first sent in by the Bubs, Nathaniel Lucero Gonzalez, and XX Dark Gamer XX. Dark Gamer just wrote, Bill, is this story real or fake? If it is real, then I don't know what this world has become. All right, okay guys, now let's everybody just calm down. I know zombies are a scary subject and so is this one. So what I want you to do is just stop. Let's all take a breath together because Bill and his research team are going to investigate for you and get to the facts right now. My first step was just a simple search on the internet to see what was out there. To my surprise, there were a whole bunch of reliable news sites reporting on the matter. Just to be sure of my findings, I posted the picture and story to my Facebook page, hoping my super sleuths over there could confirm what I was finding. Well, to make a long story short, I did get that confirmation, and I have the official answer right here. But if you watch the show on a regular basis, you know there's no way I can tell you what's going on in here until you tell me what you got going on up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is Go ahead and vote up here, or just leave me your answer down in the comment section down there. Or if you're in a group or you just feel like it, just go ahead and yell it out. You ready? And go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to vote, I just want to take a few seconds and go over some previously shown real or fakes to see how you guys actually voted. First up is this picture that claimed to show a cliff house that people actually live in. 55% of you guys said it was real, 43% said it was fake, and 1% said unknown. The official answer was fake. As it turned out, it was just concept art. Next was that picture we had that claimed to show an escaped convict that was caught on camera by a Google Maps card. Now, 65% of you said it was real, 35% of you said it was fake, and 1% said unknown. The final answer was fake. It was just a uniformed worker on his way to his job. Last, we have this video that claimed to show the biggest crocodile ever caught on camera. On this one, 68% of you guys said it was real, 20% said unknown, and 11% said fake. The correct answer was actually unknown, as there was no measurement made of the creature, so therefore, no way to tell how big it was. Okay, now that we got the record straight on that, what do you say we get back to this zombie deer disease and see what we got going on here? You know, this thing kind of reminds me of that mad cow disease thing that we had a couple of years ago. I am hoping this doesn't turn out to be anything like that, but let's see what the official answer says. And it says, uh-huh, well, it actually, it's real, okay? But before you freak out, let me explain. Yes, there is something called zombie deer disease, but it's just a nickname for a brain disease that's affecting deer, elk, 
and moves. It's called chronic wasting disease or CWD for short. Without getting too complicated, the disease affects the animal's brain in a way that causes it to lose weight and coordination. The ears droop and the animal gets more aggressive, but in the end of the day, the disease is fatal and eventually kills the infected animal. All right, so first off, these deers are not zombies because zombies technically, you know, would die and then come back to life. As far as I know, the only time that's ever happened is in a fictional movie. It's a Korean movie called Train to Busan. So you see, the good news is you don't have to worry about being bitten by a zombie deer and then turned into a zombie yourself. That is not gonna happen 100% untrue. Now the bad news is scientists are actually worried that the brain disease itself can spread to humans if we eat deer meat that is contaminated with CWD. Now, there are no, and I repeat, no reported cases of this happening yet, but scientists are keeping a very close eye on it. Next up is this bizarre video. It was pointed out to me by Tony C, who just said, is it true there are robots so advanced they can do backflips? Tony, I know robots, AI, and all that stuff are making some incredible advances, but a robot that does backflips? That's pretty far-fetched if you ask me. Guys, take another look at this and tell me what you think. Okay, so leave your votes up here. Answers down in the comment section or just shout it out. I will get out the official answer here and we will see that perhaps sometime in the future, there will be an Olympics with a gymnastics event that only includes robots. Now that would be funny. And the official answer is, are you ready for this? I'm actually kind of shocked by this answer. It's real. Its name is Atlas, and it's just one of the many robots being developed by a company called Boston Dynamics. Now, according to their website, Atlas is about five feet or 1.5 meters tall and weighs about 165 pounds or 75 kilograms. Although his backflips are not always successful as we can see here, he truly is a symbol of why getting a good human education is more important than ever if you don't want him stealing your job. Now, in terms of that picture showing teeth growing out of somebody's foot, well, we'll get to that in a sec, but first, let's take care of this picture. The picture was sent in by Tim Ingram, who wrote, Hey, Bill, is this building for real or just a BFF? Tim, we've covered a lot of strange architecture here on Real or Fake. Remember that cliff house where the woman hanging on? That was fake. <laughs> But I gotta say, this is the first time I've seen something where I went, wow, I'd really like to live in that building if it's real. That's a really cool place. I posted it to my trusty Facebook to see what the guys over there would think, and well, they came back with a couple of very interesting answers. Oren Mama said it was a real building, and it was a place called Bosco Verticale in Italy. But Judy Labrona said it was fake because this picture is only an artist concept of the building. The real building looks a lot different, more like this. Hmm, I don't know about this one. I mean, either that's a real picture of a real building or that's somebody's artwork. So look, this is how I want you to vote. If that's a real picture of a real building in real life, then I want you to vote real, okay? Now, if that's just a concept art of a real building, right? In other words, it's only created in a computer. Maybe they made it before they built the building so they could show people what they wanted to build. That's concept art, right? So if it's concept art, then I want you to vote fake. You ready? Go ahead and vote up here. Leave me an answer down here or just shout it out. I'll jump in the elevator. We'll head up to the penthouse and we will get the official answer, which is, oh wow. 
This thing, you know what? It's real. With all the colored trees and perfectly clean building, you would think this was some kind of fantasy version of the building, but nope. That truly is the Bosque Verticale in Milan, Italy. The picture was taken by a professional photographer, and I'm sorry I'm gonna mangle his name, but Altug Gallup from Cyprus. Mr. Gallup loves to take pictures of colorful buildings as can be seen here in his collection on Shutterstock.com. Our last picture today shows what appears to be teeth growing out of somebody's foot. It was sent in by David Garcia, who just wrote, is this real or BFF? David, when it comes to strange things growing out of or on humans, there's no shortage of that coming in our doors. How about this one with a woman with a horn growing out of her head? Real. Or how about, you know, those people that have hair like growing on them every single inch of their body? Well, those are real. There's even this other one where this kid has 232 teeth in his mouth. But as far as teeth growing out of somebody's foot, I don't think I've seen anything that weird before. Posting it to Facebook got me all sorts of answers. Arthur Olazo said, it gives the term foot and mouth disease a whole new meaning, doesn't it? Vince Shiguan said, imagine going to the dentist. But in terms of it being real or fake, it basically boiled down to two answers. One, which is fake, because this is a work of a makeup artist who is famous for doing stuff like this. Or two, real, because this is an actual physical syndrome known as Adams Oliver syndrome. Okay, I tell you what, get your bony fingers, go up here and make a vote. Leave me an answer down in the comment section or just yell it out to the world. I'll get out the Mr. Red right here and we'll see what we got. Get an answer for you so then you really got something to chew on, if you know what I mean. Uh, unfortunately, for all you dentists out there, this is not good news, because this picture is actually fake. Thanks to my many helpful readers on Facebook, we now know this is the work of a very creative artist named Tay Keller. On her Instagram, Tay says she does makeup, special effects, and tattoos that lean towards the horror genre, but she does eat vegetarian, in case you're worried. And now, for my favorite fake of the week, it's called Strange Sounds from the Sun, and it was sent in by Abdulaziz Mansarov, and well, it kind of goes like this. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory listens to the sun. The sound it picks up is too deep for humans to hear. But if you speed up 40 days recording into a few seconds, this is what you get. Thanks to Mustafa Ghassan, we know the voice you are hearing is speaking in Arabic and saying, Tomorrow is a work day. Tomorrow is a work day. The voice part actually comes from this cartoon sent in by one of our favorite Facebook readers from Syria. It says, the video is just a joke spread throughout the Arab world to remind us that the holiday is over and tomorrow will be a working day. And that means me too.